what's good Josh the boy Ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out Roman Reigns has gotten boring by none other than Polana Productions I know actually a few of you guys have said that you're kind of tired of Roman Reigns title reign and I get why some people would say that but I want people to also understand that we're not as consumers as fans of WWE we're not used to seeing long title reigns like this. We're not, if you want to be honest with you. We're used to seeing maybe a few months, sometimes not even that, maybe a month, you know. We're used to short title reigns. It's it's rare that you get a title reign like what Roman Reigns has right now. You you know, you see it with Brock Lesnar, of course, and you know, you've seen it with CM Punk when he was in WWE, and you've seen it with John Cena. But it's few and far between where we get title reigns this long. So I think we've been conditioned to see someone else hold the belt, you know, and it, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, it's kind of gotten stale. And I get it. I understand. I still am enjoying Roman Reigns at the top of the cards because to be honest with you, I just... I don't even think WWE has a plan for anyone to beat him right now. I think they're just kind of going with the motions because they haven't really booked anyone viably that makes sense outside of Brock to actually beat him. So, but I want to see what he has to say. I want to see his opinions on this. Uh, appreciate all love and support and let's get right into this one. What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of our hot takes and let's get straight onto the video with the first one that comes from Forgotten Son and he says that Roman Reigns' character is becoming stale and he needs to turn face but keep his attire and attitude a little alike to keep things more fresh. And Forgotten Son, I'm going to have to completely disagree with you. I do not want to see Roman Reigns stop anytime soon, especially after considering the fact that him and Paul Heyman are back. I was upset when those two broke off, but now they're back together and they're stronger than ever. I love it. I'm a fan. I'm excited. And, and I would like to see Roman Reigns keep dominating as the head of the mm -hmm. table. And I don't think it's getting stale. I think a lot of wrestling fans want to see something fresh every few months. Let's just allow the story to keep going. That's why I just said we're used to short title reigns, so we're 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 accustomed now to someone else holding the belt. This right here, I'm okay with it. He doesn't need to turn face. He needs to stay healed. The gimmick only works if he's a heel. To be honest with you, yeah, you can maybe turn him face, but the gimmick only works. If he's a heel, in my personal opinion. Because I still want to see him destroy everyone in his path and see who is going to be the one that takes him down. Yeah. The next hot take comes from Hee Hee, and they say the Royal Rumble victory should not be given to a rookie, but instead an established member who can turn into a star. I think Drew McIntyre winning the 2020 Rumble is the best example of this, and I agree with this, and I kind of disagree. I agree with mm -hmm. the fact of what you're saying, that yes, it's important for some people who are established, like Drew McIntyre in 2020, to win, and I do agree that that rookie should not win, but I also think that established superstars like Brock Lesnar, Batista, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, and those kind of people also deserve to win the rumble because in reality the rumble just builds up a wrestlemania match and that's pretty much it and i'm fine with anyone winning mm -hmm. except for rookies the i get it i mean it depends on once again how this rookie is built if you built up someone their first year in the company they're on a up and up they're on a rise they they're being booked like they're the next big thing you know what i'm saying then i'm okay with it but it just depends how it's booked, who's in the Royal Rumble. Like, it, there's a lot of factors than just, oh, he's a rookie, he shouldn't win. Because I wouldn't say that. You'd be surprised if they booked someone correctly, when they, depending on when they come in, you never know. The fans may want this rookie to win. Next hot take comes from Khalid, and he says, I think Kenny Omega's time at AWS played its course. The man should come into WWE for a while. It would be a brand new feel, and maybe it can lead to the inevitable dream match against Roman Reigns. And sorry, Khalid, that is not happening. No. I don't think it's happening. I don't think it should happen. I feel no. like Kenny Omega still has a lot more to do in AEW, yeah. and he's perfectly fine there and should not come to WWE. No. To be completely honest with you, I feel like WWE would bury this man. They would ruin seconds. him. They were JL real. says, Charlotte is in desperate need of a character change. The rest of the four horsewomen have had major, with the exception of maybe Sasha, character changes since their main roster debuts. 
Charlotte is doing the same thing she's been doing since NXT, and I could not have said it any better. I totally agree. This is why, like, I love Charlotte as a wrestler and athlete. I think she has so much decorated highlights in her career, but her character right now is super dry, and that is the problem. That's why we don't care. So she definitely needs to change things up. Possibly. Yeah, her character is kind of stale. You know what I'm saying? She's, it, it, it's, it's stale. But at the same time, it doesn't help that the the way she's been put into certain situations and how they book her is like, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if a character change would help, maybe, but I'm not sure. Maybe there's a possibility. I, it could, it, 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 it could, something could happen if they did something like that, but I don't know. I just, I feel like she's just, it's one of those individuals who is like, when in doubt, throw Charlotte the championship. She can use another 20 title reigns already padding to her stats. So I, I feel like even with a character change, I just, I don't, I don't really, I don't think it's, it, it can be salvaged. I could be wrong, but I think this is just what we're going to have to deal with. Just Charlotte being Charlotte and winning championships and, you know, being kind of stale, in my opinion. The leaders YouTube says that John Cena should bring the peacemaker gimmick to WWE even if it's a bad idea for him with the smiley face. And no, I do not want to see that no. at all. If John Cena is coming back, it needs to be as John Cena with his jorts, all right? It doesn't work yeah. without that. But if you do want the peacemaker gimmick, I think I could see that happening at the Royal Rumble as a surprise entrant, but nothing more than that. The yeah, next that's probably says that probably Reigns' one-offs with so many guys is actually good for his victim count at the end of his title reign. And I agree, but not for the reason you provided. I agree that I like seeing things because it's fresh. I like Roman Reigns beating Kevin Owens and then Seth Rollins and then Brock Lesnar and then Finn Balor and all these other guys because it makes it fresh. And I really like the fact that Roman Reigns is just super dominant. I don't really care too much about it at the end of his title reign so he could say that he beat all these people. I just like the fact that it's fresh. Mm -hmm. Amiro says that Undertaker's last match ever should have been against the Fiend at Mania, where Taker would have lost in front of a full house crowd, not the cinematic match. And I kind of agree, like, I wish we would have mm. seen the Fiend versus the Undertaker. That would have been that cool. That is a dream match I would have loved to see. That would have been real But cool. at the end of the day, no one really knew how long COVID was going to be. Yeah. And I thought the Undertaker versus AJ Styles in that cinematic Boneyard match was perfect. So I'm not too upset about uh, it. It was fantastic. Like, yeah, would I have wished we had the Fiend versus Undertaker with a big crowd, obviously. Oh, yeah. But it isn't the end. Imagine. Imagine the Fiend being the person to actually retire the Undertaker. The new face of fear. Oh, it would have been great. It would have been great. And you know, Bray would have been all for it. And it would have worked. It would have worked storyline-wise. Because it would have been like, you know what? As Bray Wyatt, I couldn't get the job done. When I when I let him in, I can get the job done against the under. Oh, man, it just would have been great. This would have been fantastic. The day. Who knows? Maybe he will come back. Maybe The Undertaker wants one more match in front of a crowd because he sees the fans. And I wouldn't be too upset about that. No. And I know it would defeat the purpose of his retirement. True. But come on, the man deserves 70, 80,000 fans screaming, thank you, Taker. Codemeister1121 says AEW is the most perfect wrestling promotion ever. And that is not a hot take. It's just a lie. <laughs> yeah, That's not true not at all. Perfect. I can't agree with it whatsoever. Nah. AEW has its flaws and has its good things that comes with it. But there's definitely a lot of flaws and problems yeah. as well. Thomas Money Star Banks says that Sasha vs. Ronda Rousey should have been the main event of WrestleMania this year, just like Becky and Charlotte. Mm, I don't really not bad Becky one. Charlotte Park. I don't know, but Sasha already has the main event, so I'm going to assume that Thomas means that Sasha vs. Ronda should be the main event instead of Charlotte vs. Ronda. And guys, to be completely honest with you, I kind of agree with that one, just because I recently watched the match a couple days ago at the Royal Rumble, and I really enjoyed it. And I also like Sasha Banks a lot more than Charlotte, so it definitely... That would be good. That would be good. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That would be that would be something cool. But I I hope she does get added into the match because she has some history with Ronda. Uh, Charlotte has some history with Ronda. I think that would be a perfect perfect trio to have at WrestleMania. Comment down below if y'all agree. It would have been awesome to see Sasha versus Ronda in a main event match. But at the end of the day, this is WWE, and they want to see Char Charlotte have that main event spot with Ronda. Uh. There's nothing we can do about it. It sucks, but I do agree with you, Thomas. 
Smith. The next hot take says that Triple H should open his own wrestling company and work with other promotion. He's gotten so many connections in the industry too, so I think he can give competition mm, to WWE. I don't know about that and one. there's no way that Triple H would ever be competition to WWE. No. I think if anything, he would create another AEW kind of brand because that is all he likes. He likes indie wrestling and that doesn't really translate well to the masses. And I think that's the reason it would not compete with WWE. Mm -hmm. Hi Hi says that there isn't enough wrestling on Raw or SmackDown. It is advertised as a wrestling show. And yeah, that's very true. I agree mm -hmm. with this hot take I can as see well. That too. Because I did see a statistic a while ago explaining how there's like 37 minutes of wrestling in the whole week when you look at Raw and SmackDown. And that is not good at all. There needs yeah, bro. Um, it is, is <laughs> there's so many five minute matches, six minute matches, two minute matches. It's like, bro, it's not a wrestling show. It's, it's all about the theatrics and it's like, it's not a wrestling show. AEW, they don't play that shit. They give you wrestling and I, I can appreciate that. Weekly television on Raw and SmackDown, you may get one decent match, maybe 15 minutes. It's just... Two hours on SmackDown, three hours on Raw, you would think there would be more time spent wrestling. It's not. Be a little bit more wrestling than that. Like I said, I really don't care too much about the wrestling, but I want to see a little bit more than just like 20% of Raw and SmackDown, you know? Phoenix says that going with the whole drip theory, Seth turning face should happen sometime this year as it could make his character come full circle. He's the delusional joker of WWE, but frankly, he wants to become someone whom his kid will look up to. Him dropping the act and showing who he really is while turning face would be nice as well as winning the Universal Championship. And that was really well said, and I got nothing else to add to it except, yeah, that's a good idea. I would enjoy that. And Seth Rollins definitely is due for a babyface turn very mm -hmm. soon because a lot of fans were cheering for him at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, a lot of people were cheering. I still don't think he's the guy, though. I don't. I just, I just don't. But at some point, a face turn would be nice to see this year. Blaze Shahil says that Riddle is amazing. He should get his first world title reign either this or next year. And I totally see it happening because Riddle has had an exceptional year, especially once mm -hmm. he was paired with Randy Orton. And I think Randy Orton put him over the edge and yeah. made him feel like a star. And that was a great idea because now Riddle looks like a world championship contender very soon. And plus, he was slated to potentially win this year's uh, Royal Rumble. He was they they were there were reports saying he probably was going to win it, or they were picking or looking at him picking him to win the Royal Rumble. So I don't know. We, Riddle may get his shine this year. We will see. You never know. Bobby says that bringing back Brock Lesnar and Ronda Rousey was a fantastic move, and those two will always be a major draw. And I 1,000% agree. I that's why I was all for it, and I think they were the perfect Royal Rumble winners. Yeah, this is where I disagree with you, my guy. This is where I disagree with you. No, <laughs> they're not the perfect Royal Rumble winner winners. Will they be draws? Yes, but are they the perfect Royal Rumble winners? No. Guess what, guys? And I, it's like people don't understand this. You can have a, a pretty set stack WrestleMania without having former UFC people take the spots. They can still be on the WrestleMania card. WrestleMania is two nights. So there's no reason why you can't get your Ronda and your Brock Lesnar fix. I'm just saying. You can make space to push a new star. But hey, what do I know? I'm just I'm just a viewer. <laughs> The next hot take says that Mad Cat Moss and Happy Corbin are great characters. And yes, 100% agree. I uh, love these two for whatever reason. I think they are a great pairing. They are great characters. And a lot of people give them shit, but they're good. I don't care what you guys say. I like Mad Cat Moss well, and Happy Corbin. And especially Mad Cat Moss, I think is the future of the company. He's going to be a big star. I think they're kind I'm of telling cringe, you right now. to be honest with you. Dark Shadow says that Finn Balor needs to turn heel. Whenever he's on face on the roster, he never does anything, so he comes off as stale. And that's very true. You might as well try turning him heel and just see how it turns out. If it doesn't work out, great. You failed. You don't use No, he just needs to leave WWE because they're not going to use him. He's done. After he lost, in the way he lost to Roman, by the help of the man upstairs, a.k.a. A cameraman going through the smoke and cutting the top turnbuckle, it was done. He was done after that. He was done. So yeah, he needs to leave WWE. 
exclusive him anyways. It doesn't really matter. You just pretend like you never did it in the first place. But personally, I want to see what he was in in NXT on the main roster. I think it could be good stuff. Enrique says that MJF wouldn't make it in WWE right now, at least. And no, I disagree. No, MJF would be a big star right now if he joined today. I really think that MJF would be a world mm. champion within one year, and he would definitely win the Money in the Bank. And literally, if he joined right now, he would probably win Money in the Bank because he would be. I'm not gonna lie to you, even though as, uh, I didn't even notice there's like a, a as actual video footage of MJF, like his little promo reel for uh wwe they have it on the on the youtube page i think he was trying out for wwe so they have a promo reel on their youtube page of mjf uh pretty much saying why he should be in the company i've watched it. i was like he was pretty good on the mic back then like just how he's delivering it uh his promo but oh yeah he's he's golden yeah, I cannot wait. I believe he's going to have a segment addressing people after his win over CM Punk this Wednesday. So I can't wait. He is golden. He is one of, if not the best heel in wrestling right now. At one point, it was Tommaso Ciampa. Remember when he was feuding with Johnny? He was, one, he was the best heel at one point in wrestling. MJF is the best heel right now. You put if you bring him to WWE and you let him go within the guidelines because they're PG, uh, they're you know PG and uh, AEW's TV fourteen within the guidelines. He would he knows how to make you hate him. That's what makes a good heel. You want to see him get his ass kicked. So fantastic, bro. So he would be. Oh yeah. It's just once again, no one can write his promos. He has to have full control of his promos as long as he's within the regulations and guidelines they have for WWE. And he's able to really book feuds. He'd be great. It's just WWE would have to book him like to win. <laughs> you know, it all comes down to booking. But on oh man. Whew. Money and bank fits him too. Oh man. Be a great briefcase holder. Jaden Smith says that Roman Reigns will leave WWE soon for Hollywood within two or three years to pursue acting like The Rock, and I could see that, but I don't think two or three years. I say maybe four or five years once he's really ready to retire from WWE when he hits the early 40s like John Cena and The Rock did in their careers. Preston says hmm. WWE... I can still see like two years. I can still see like two years. Especially if he starts getting rolled. Like once he drops the belt, I can see him slowly because he's not gonna be on he's not gonna be on television like that because that's part of his gimmick so once he drops the belt i can see him being gone for a while like if he got a he i can see him getting into some, some movie roles so yeah WWE don't make stars anymore and that's just wrong they actually make a lot of stars if you look at someone like bianca Belair, or you look at someone like riddle like i mentioned earlier or austin theory or damian priest it is very clear that the wwe is making new stars i think they're trying and i think they're doing a pretty good job and the last hot take comes from gt gamer i wouldn't say they're doing a pretty good job let's not do that because that's if they was making new stars someone would have probably won that royal rumble that's a new star. Like maybe Matt Riddle. And I just thought it was funny because this guy literally commented this five times. So I was like, you know what? I got to react to it. He says, Brock and Roman at WrestleMania will be a garbage singles match. I thought that was so funny, but I disagree with you. I think Brock and Roman, even though I don't really want to see it too badly, I don't think it's going to be a bad match. I think it will be a good match. And I'm kind of excited, even if nobody gets added to the match like Seth or Drew McIntyre. It is what it is. I think right now, this is the most compelling storyline between these two. Be honest with you. I don't think it would be a bad match, but I don't think people want to just see them two. I hope and pray somehow we get Seth Rollins added to that match. Or hell, even a Drew McIntyre added to that match. But preferably Seth, because what's happened with them recently. Ah, oh, can we just hope and pray they add Seth to that match? Can can we? Can, oh man, I, I don't trust WWE to do something cool like that, but it would be cool to see. So comment down below, let me know. Do you guys feel like Roman Reigns 
uh, title reign has gotten stale to you? Do you feel like you're kind of over it? I know some of you have. Some of you have repeatedly told me you're kind of tired of Roman Reigns' title reign. So I want to know how many of y'all are truly saying, you know what? I'm done with Roman as the champ. Get the title off of him asap or are you guys still invested in what he has going on as the tribal chief let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support road to 70k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace